Claudia, and my purpose is to help you find your purpose. Now, why should you listen to me? That's a great question. What if I told you that there was an easier way through this spiritual awakening journey? The way that, you know, this, this journey works is that like, once you see things, once you awaken, you can't unsee things. Okay. And so what, what ends up happening, which is what happened to me is you'll go on the internet and you'll like search one thing. And then by, by the end of it, you end up with like 20 different tabs open, 20 different ways to heal, to do this, like 20 different gurus, teachers, whatever you want to call them. And then you just end up feeling overwhelmed and forget what you searched for in the first place. And so then you keep doing this and you go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then it's just, it's just never ending. I'm here to tell you that I found a way. It's not kind of like step by step because of course the spiritual journey isn't linear, like life isn't linear, but there is an easier way and sort of like an order in which to do things that's going to help you and hopefully save you like years and years and years of just, you know, banging your head against the wall, just like I did. Something else that people also really like to do, I did this myself, is they tend to start this journey like from the outside in. So they'll sort of be like, you know, there's something about my life that I don't really enjoy. So I'm going to try and like manage something else okay and they'll be like really but without knowing anything else without knowing that you know you need to surrender to the universe without being attached you know they have all this like you know just angry or like forceful energy and then you're trying to manifest from just just not a very good place energetically and so you need to start with everything you need to start from the inside out okay so there's no point I mean you can manifest things if you're in that place you can but you're not going to enjoy those things so you always need to start from within. Now, what does that mean? Well, I'm going to tell you. But first, let's talk a little bit about spirituality, okay? My goal here is to bridge the gap between spirituality and real life. And why is that? So I'm the sort of person, I'm like the alternative friend, okay? I do this a lot. <laughs> I'm like the alternative friend and I'm always the person who's like looking for like alternative medicines, which aren't really alternative, you know, they're the main, the original ones um but in in western society you know alternative medicines and alternative healing and just alternatives alternative ways of living and so what tends to happen is like sometimes like people come to me for advice okay like friends and family and and they'll ask me like a bunch of things and then i'll sort of like i'll always go into spirituality because like i said i think everything's connected mind body and soul uh, and you can't just be trying to deal with things just from a physical perspective like it doesn't work okay so i'll i'll often you know say suggest things that they can do in order to like help them with their problem and what tends to happen is people sort of like you get to this point where people kind of like look at you a little bit like mm, i know that you do that but i don't really do that i'm not really like spiritual i'm not really into like those things uh, it's like if you talk to someone about spell casting you know which really is just basically just being like this is what i want you know and lighting a candle or whatever you know there i mean there are much more intricate spells but it's like as soon as you hear certain words it's like as soon as people hear the word spiritual everyone's like oh my god no i'm not like that you know uh, and so i'm here to stop that because i'm going to tell you something the only difference between you know non-spiritual people and spiritual people is that spiritual people the only thing that they have done the only thing that they want to do is they want to find inner peace and they want to connect back to themselves okay so you know that child the child that you were you know when you were born when you were like when you're a child you know and you didn't have all of these masks all of these jackets all of these hats whatever you want to call them before you were aware of society and were aware of expectations you know the child that you were before anything else before someone was like you shouldn't do this and you need to act like this okay that's all that people do they just want to connect back to themselves so what a lot of these people do is they awaken in a sense okay and people talk about like experiences they've had where they literally feel like they stepped out of their body now that doesn't need to happen necessarily that hasn't happened to me i've never stepped out of my body i just kind of was one day was just like hold on a minute like this isn't quite right. This can't be all there is to life. Okay, so that's another thing that sometimes people are like, well, I didn't have this amazing experience. It means I haven't been chosen by God, by the universe. It's not like that at all. You know, there's there's this great book called The Surrender Experiment um, by Michael Singer. And he says that his the experience that he had was that just that he noticed his mind and he just noticed that there was like the, the voice in his head and himself okay and he even describes in the book he was like that could have just passed me by and I could have not even noticed but he didn't okay he became very aware of that voice in his head okay and that's actually the first thing that we're going to do I'm going to give you like three days sort of like a little mini series of three days to spiritual surrender okay because that's the first thing that you actually need to do 
Throughout this journey, I'm also going to be giving you like different resources and different people that have really helped me along my spiritual awakening journey. And I'm going to try and give you as many free resources as I can, because again, like what I see a lot of the times is a lot of like these, you know, they're amazing people. They're really great. But they, you know, they sort of like I was hearing someone the other day and then she had um she just was going through some stuff and then she needed to do healing. So she went on like to Bali and to Egypt and things like that. And you know, a lot of us can't just be like, okay, I'm taking three weeks to go to Bali because I need to do some healing. So it's basically, this channel is going to be about what you can do in conjunction, you know, with your job, with your family, like if you have children, with, with, with the things that you have to do with your commitments. Okay, so join me in the next video where we start the three days of surrendering. Okay, thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next video.